Marcus Sauber. So they'll kick off from the 50-yard line, and I, I, I would have to think they've got to be thinking on side here. Peyton will kick it off. New rule now in, uh, in college football, you have to have four players on each side of the ball on a kickoff. That's why you see the four players on this side lined up where they are, rather than everybody being over on the other side of the ball where they're going to kick it, or apparently going to kick it. And so here we go, and they will go on side. And that's not going to go by, uh, 10 yards, and it is gotten by Steve Bush anyway. Now another flag goes down. And I, there's no doubt that the officials are going to take a very strong hold on this game now. Because it's just that close to really erupting. And this one's going against Arizona. Dead ball, personal foul on the kicking team, 15-yard penalty. We've now had four ejections in this game. And I, I would imagine... Gable is going to be one of them. Ephon is going to be one of them. And I, I'm not sure who the third ejection was. A uh, late hit there by Douglas. Uh, yeah, they're, they're going to be real picky now. No, I don't think anybody better breathe wrong or they're going to get a penalty. Steve Campbell in the game for Arizona State. Promising young quarterback. changes for you. Here's Redmond. Or rather, it's uh, Farlow trying to get outside, and Farlow does get outside and gets a gain of almost 10 yards on the play. In fact, he might have got more than 10 yards and picked up a first down. Now, Farlow, very much along the lines of Terry Battle in terms of size and speed. Steve Campbell, big guy, 6'8", 221. You like Steve Campbell? Yeah, I do. He's got, he got great size. He comes from a football family. His dad was a coach. Uh, Comes out of Corona, California, Norfolk High School. And we're seeing the future of Arizona State now on the field. Barlow, Campbell, Morales, the fullback who gets the call right there, gets it inside the 25-yard line. Who is not the future of Arizona State because he's maybe the only senior running back they have to get everybody else back. Well, Farlow has got, got quite, a, quite a few minutes early in the season. Well, he's carried the ball 62 times, 280 yards, 4.2 yard average, so uh, it's not like he hasn't, uh, hasn't seen some action. And Mitchell, the lone wide receiver, going to give it to Farlow again. And Farlow gets it to about the 21 yard line. It'll be about a yard short of the first down, maybe two. Jimmy Sprott makes the tackle. Of course, we've seen the future of the Arizona Wildcats all night. They're on the field playing most of the game. They're all going to be back. There you see uh, Gray Rugemer, the guy that uh, one of the great unsung heroes of this Arizona State team that she had a great year. Mike Barnes in the ball game. Now he's playing for Gable, who was playing for Thompson. Follow again with a gap. At the 15, to 10, to 5, knocked out of bounds at the three-yard line. Gain of 20 for Marlon Farlow. An unbalanced line to the left, and they run that way. Mikhail Smith again finally runs him out of bounds. Good block by Morales, the fullback. Springs him. Some devil can knock her at the door again on the one yard line. First down and goal for the one yard line. And to give us the follow again. And follow is in. Touchdown, Sun Devils. And a little woofing going on from Chester Burnett. Fans 
talked to us during the course of this day about how this rivalry has gotten somewhat nasty from time to time. And I, I think this game and that little incident on Mikhail Smith's 98-yard interception return uh, is going to fuel that fire. He's trying for point is up and good, and it is a 49 to 14 ball game. 10:47 remaining to be played. Arizona State now in complete control of this one. Michigan beats Ohio State third time in the last four years that they have beaten them when Ohio State has come in undefeated. That's truly remarkable. But here, no such upset. And the Sun Devils are going to take an undefeated record into the Rose Bowl on January 1st. I feel kind of bad for the Rose Bowl committee people. They would have had undefeated teams in their game for the first time since 1931. Yeah, and the, the possibility of a national championship game. Well, they still they still have that, but uh, sure would have been nice to have two undefeated teams in the Rose Bowl. Last time it happened, Alabama and Washington State played. I think it was a rainy Tuesday, as I recall. This one away, a short end over end kick that Holmes will handle at the 10 yard line. That's the 20, that's about the 28 yard line, and we'll go to the sideline to Andre Aldridge once again. Andre. All right, thanks a lot, Barry. An update on uh, the injured uh, Wildcat Daniel Greer. He's taken to uh, Universal Me University Medical Center for uh, x rays, possible lower right leg fracture. And uh, once again, an update on, on that play. I incorrectly told you it was Isaiah Mustafa. It was uh, Glenn Gable with the clip on there. But they are x-raying him now, and his leg looks in pretty bad shape. And that's a pretty horrible way for things to end. Greer, just a sophomore. Brady Batten is the quarterback now for the Wildcats. They're both starting quarterbacks out. Batten floats one up here for McDaniel, who leaps and makes the catch. Great effort by Jeremy McDaniel. Good catch, they say, at the 46-yard line. Big-time play over Courtney Jackson. And they will play hurry up here. Back to where we started the game, throwing the fades against the ASU corners. Now we got a flag down. Courtney Jackson this time, the, the victim. Dead ball, personal foul, ejection. Charles Miles, I believe. Well, <laughs> Bruce Snyder's going against, acting like maybe it's one of his plays. I think it is. I saw Charles Miles walking off the field on the other side like with his head down like he'd just been kicked out of the game, but uh, evidently it's Derek Ford. That's a heated discussion going on between Bruce Snyder and the referee Chuck McFerrin. The referees and the security here is going to have to be very careful at the end of this game. I, I think tempers are very much on edge here. It was a really ugly incident earlier this week, last week actually, in Hawaii at the BYU-Hawaii game, and there is a, a security here. Well, there's just there's certainly not any reason for any of the Arizona State players uh, to be getting kicked out of this game now. They got the game under control. We need to leave the game on the field and, and, and let the score speak for itself. Brady Batten, who was the starting quarterback at the beginning of this season. A little trouble getting his team into the end zone. Keith Smith came on and will be the starter for the next three years. Throws caught this time by Williams, and he is wrapped up big top hand by Thomas Simmons. And now flags everywhere. Four flags all at the same time. That was like a drill team. And Simmons, I think, has been tossed. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike. 